Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show, where we are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life and finances. Welcome to the car edition. I am feeling better. Thank God. Woo! Let me tell you, those ear infections ain't no joke. That cold wasn't no joke. Mm, it was not fun. So I'm glad to be feeling better. So we're going to try this thing called work one more time. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. Great morning, Miss Fairley. How are you? <coughs> I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope everybody's getting their Girl Scout cookies because I was out selling cookies all day yesterday, literally from 9.15 until 2 p.m. I was selling Girl Scout cookies. So that didn't help my cold at all, but we sold cookies. And this morning, Rosie had to truck in five boxes of cookies, six. Thankfully, her friend was with her and to help carry some of it in. So support a Girl Scout. Rosie's goal is 5,000 boxes. Amen, Miss Valerie. I woke up. Oh, you woke up with this morning? Let me tell you, I don't envy you, honey. Oh, Jesus. I've went through three, four boxes of Kleenex. It is, it is no fun at all. You hear me? And I really could have stayed another day at home. I hope I'm not pushing it, but I've been out a week, so I guess I better go back. So <coughs> make sure that you get your support your local Girl Scouts. Uh, and then if you don't have a Girl Scout near you, um, you can order Girl Scout cookies online if you Google Girl Scouts in your area or if you want to order cookies from Court Rosie online. Um, you can do that as well. All right, guys. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you're ready to get this morning started. I had a thought for the I had a quote for the day, but Rosie wrote it down and she took it with her. How about that? So I will cool, let me find one right fast because I saw a good one right here earlier. Because she took she took the good one with us. Miss Farrell, are you gonna uh, take something? Are you staying at home today? Hopefully you're gonna take something and feel better. All right, so the quote for the day is I changed myself, I changed the world, and that's Glory Anzaluda. A N Z A L D U A. I changed myself, I changed the world um and it all begins with us we can't hashtag change the world if we don't first look and change ourselves so the fearless thought for today is what do you plan to do i'm all about asking questions okay and you know miss bella i'm all about the holistic side of it so i had some drops that i put in my water that helped with the respiratory i took that i made a mixture of turmeric and honey and I took a spoonful of that every 30 minutes, which helped cut the congestion in my chest. Um, of course, I took the elderberry and I took um, calm, cold calm, which you let dissolve under your tongue. And it shortens the symptoms of your cold and it kind of makes you feel better instantly. That's why I didn't feel bad, bad, but I had, you know, my symptoms were still there. But I didn't feel like, oh, my God, I'm about to die bad. So, um Hopefully that'll help, but I hope you feel better. So today's <clears throat> feel a stop for the day is what do you plan to do? Good morning, Miss Margaret. Happy Monday. I got to go to the beach with you yesterday. I'm so excited. Are y'all not proud of me that I was up and moving and at Girl Scouts on time? I was there early. How about that? Yeah. So today's thought is. What what do you plan to do? What do you plan on doing? Like, what do you plan on doing with, with this thing called life? What are you planning on doing today? What do you plan on accomplishing with your life? I think sometimes we get caught up in the rut of solely surviving that we are, we forget to live and we only survive. And you're so busy surviving that you forget 
to live. Like, I just need to make it to tomorrow. And I'm so guilty of this. I just need to, especially as a single parent, what? With two kids? If I didn't just make it to this payday, whew, I didn't take a breather for a day. Actually, for a couple of hours because my paycheck is going to be gone in a couple of hours. And then I can stress again. But just for that few minutes, I'm going to be free of any stress and we get so caught up in surviving if i just fix this one problem then i can worry about everything else if i can just solve this one thing then everything else is going to come into play if i can just do this not worry about everything else and we're so caught up in survival mode we forget to live so and in that we're not thinking about where we want to go and what we want to do what are you planning what are you planning to do today? What are you planning to do with, with your life? Is surviving the only thing that you want to accomplish? Is it the only thing that you want to do? Are you planning to continue to live like this forever? And you may say no. And this is this is what got me. So this is a confession and conversation. I said, no, I don't I don't plan because when I was working at IVM, I was making twelve dollars and twenty six cents an hour in 2004 raising two kids in a major city that was insane that wasn't working and i had to think am i going to struggle like this every day where every day i'm having to ask somebody can i borrow gas or i got caught up with my finances and going to these check cashing places just so i can put food on the table gas in the car <clears throat> until i made the sacrifice to not do that anymore but it, it came to the point of what am I planning? What are you planning on doing? Is this is this it? Is this how I plan to live my entire life? Do I plan on dying doing the same thing that I'm doing today? Is this is there is this all there is to it? Surely the goodness. There's got to be something else. There's got to be more. And we always have that question for ourselves. But do we act on that? Do we act on it? Or do we assume, well, and if anybody has ever had this day come, please let me know. One day, one day I'm going to do that. I'm telling y'all one day I'm going to change the world. One day I'm going to be the live past crazy specialist. One day, has one day ever come for anybody? It has never come for me. I, I just want to know, has it come for anybody else? And when we say that we are giving ourselves, we are letting ourselves off the hook and we are giving ourselves permission to continue to make excuses as to why we don't want to change our current environment. And I had to get there and I had the question, is this it? Is this really it? So I went back to school making $12.26 in an hour at IBM. This can't be it. I went back to school to get my master's degree. And I, let me tell you, good thing I could type fast because y'all know what I did. I would do my schoolwork during the business hours between eight and five, and at four, because I could, and I was a case manager for IBM for the entire United States. There was four of us, and we got the cases in every day. I could type fast. I could knock out forty cases within an hour or forty-five, and I did my classwork during business hours. Because I realized, is this is this it? Is really $12.26 going to be all I'm going to get for two degrees? And now that I've decided I want a master's degree, is $12.26 really going? Is this it? There's nothing else here? And so when I realized that once you start asking yourself this question, then you start with a plan. Then you start planning. So that's, the, that's why the question today, what is your plan? What do you intend on doing? What is your intent and what is your intentions with with your life? Or do you just plan on, I'm just going to figure it out by the seat of my pants and I'm going to figure it out out the wild and I'll just make it, you know, I don't know. I'll just make it happen because I've always lived like this. My mom and them have, you know, we just always lived here. We've always went to this same church my whole life, so... We've sung the same song, so why would I sing anything different? I mean, we've always done that. What is your plan? Do, do you have one? And if you don't have one, 
the things that are frustrating you and driving you crazy, they will increase and they will multiply. They're not going anywhere because what you put your mind and your energy to is what manifests, is what grows. And that is your faith. That is your faith. If you only think about the problems that you have, if you only think about the circumstances that you are in that you absolutely cannot change, that is what you have faith in. That is what you have faith in. You have faith in it so much so that you repeat it every single day. You have so much faith in things being wrong. You have so much faith in you living in lack and less than. You have so much faith in you staying in the same crazy job. <coughs> you have so much faith in staying in that same relationship that you don't do anything about it because you have faith in it. That just hit me. You have faith in that. That's insane. You have faith in the fact that your crazy is going to continue. You have faith in the fact that you're going to work the same job for 50 years. You have faith in the fact that you're always going to be broke. You have faith in the fact that every Sunday, this is the meal you're going to have. You have faith in the fact that you're always going to attend the same church, sing the same song, sit in the same pew, live the same life. You have faith in that. But yet you complain about it. And you pray for something different. But your prayer and your faith are not lining up. My goodness. This is for me today. Your faith and your prayer are not lining up. You're praying, good Lord, help me. But your faith says, I believe what I see. I, I have faith that I'm going to wake up, do the same thing, have the same problems as my mom and them. I have faith that whatever I'm going through right now, is going to continue. And so even though I'm praying, Jesus make it better, I have faith that my problems will continue. And we have more faith in our problems continuing than we have faith in us changing our problems. I think I just solved all of Christianity problems right there. I don't know who listening, but I just solved it. If I say so myself, we have more faith in the fact that I'm going to stay broke. I have more faith in the fact that I'm going to stay at this job I hate. I have more faith in the fact that I'm staying in this crazy relationship, stay in this stupid house. I have more faith that I'm going to have to beg, borrow, and steal Peter and Paul, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I have more faith in that than I have faith in that I can do something about it. So there's no need for you to pray, my my friend, because that's, that's a waste of all your energy. It's a waste of your time, your energy, your mind, your mental capacity. It's a waste of your life. It's a waste of your breath if your faith is not going to line up with your prayer. Because your prayer is saying, Lord... Help me to change. Lord, show me the way. Lord, I want to do this. But your faith is in what you see. And your faith is in things that are never going to change. So what's your plan to do about that? My goodness. That was good to me, to my whole soul today. A to the men. We, yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. We're taught to be miserable. And be, yes, ma'am. And we pass that misery on generation to generation to generation. Have you realized if your mama and your grandma and them had a horrible marriage, you going to have one because you keep passing it down? Girl, uh, ain't I? Because let me tell you something. That felt good in my whole soul today. And I may talk about that. I think that's going to be my next podcast. If y'all didn't know, I do have a podcast called The Live Past Crazy Show. <coughs> I think that's going to be my next topic. It, it can't. It, it, they, they can't line up. Right. That is nonsense. There's no need for you to pray to God who, who creates miracles every day. And the one miracle that he gives you every single day is you waking up. And, the, and in you waking up, he gives you the opportunity to change what you know, what you see to make a difference. But yet you choose to take that miracle and complain about the miracle you receive. But you want to pray to him in the same breath. Whoo, honey. I like that. 
That's good. I'm just saying. Faith and prayer, they've got to line up. And if they're not, what's the use of you praying? I just want to know what's your plan? What you going what you going to do now? What are you going to do this here day on this here Monday? On this marvelous Monday, make it happen Monday, manic Monday, motivational Monday, make up your mind Monday, make it stop Monday, uh, meditation Monday. I'm just saying, what's your plan? If your plan is to continue to pray that God make a miracle and change your situation, but your faith is in that the situation is going to continue, don't pray. I'm just saying. You wasting your what? What you praying for? You wasting your breath. So what's your plan? What you gonna do? That's my challenge for you today. This is challenging Monday. This is your Monday challenge. What are you gonna do about that today? I, I just wanna know. What are you gonna do? Cause what we not fixing to do? Move your ass Monday. A to the man. What are we gonna do about it? Cause what we not fixing to do? Is complain and pray. You cannot complain and pray. You can't pray and complain. Won't change when he gives you a miracle every single day to change and you complain about it. <clears throat> I'm just saying. I just want to know. I think that is for somebody today. I know it was completely for me today. And I had that revelation as I was talking. Because let me tell y'all something. You got to have a plan. What's your plan? Is your plan to continue where you are? Or is your plan to do something different? What's your plan with this thing called life, as Prince says? What is your plan? What do you intend to do with the miracle that God gave you today? Just want to know. It is a wonderful Monday morning. The sun is shining. Thank you, Lord. It is a no beautiful day than today. Even if it was raining, it was a beautiful day for you to do something. What do you plan on doing today? Think about that and be okay with saying, I don't know. But I know when you don't know, you're in a perfect spot to figure out what you do know. What you do know is you don't like this. So if you don't like this, the next right thing to do is the opposite of what you don't like. If you don't like this job, you call Margaret the job coach. That's your next right step. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, that's right, Margaret. This show was for me. And we just let y'all watch. We self-talking over in these pieces. So if you don't like your job, you call Margaret the job coach. You can help you get a better job, set you up the right way. If you don't like your job, do your resume over so you can find a new one. Or how about let's do the simple thing. Let's admit we hate our job and let's just look for one. Because some of us hate our job and we ain't never look for another one. We just assume ain't nothing else out there and we just won't complain about what we got. If you don't like your relationship, start making the steps today to figure out how you can change your relationship. What do you, what do you plan to do with it? Do you plan to live this out forever and ever and ever in a day? If you do, please do not come. This is what JoJo know. And my friends and my family will tell you they hate this about me in the last years. I would say the last 10, 15 years. How old, Rosie? 14 years. In the last 14 years, I can't handle complaining. And I got bold and told people, if you're complaining, I can't talk to you. You want to know why? Because I lived in a shelter. And two, you've had to ask people for draws and a toothbrush and a bra. Until you have had to ask people for a diaper for your kid and milk, until you have tried to eat whatever you can so you can produce milk, so you can feed a baby, so that you don't have to buy milk, until you have slept in somebody else's bed in a shelter, until you have done that, until somebody has convinced you to kill yourself. There's certain things I can't complain and it's something I can't handle. I, I, I'm just saying. I, I can't. And my family, that when they call me and within the first 30 seconds they complain, there's dead silence on the phone. I don't talk. 
I don't say nothing. You know what they say now? Well, Jojo, I know you don't want to hear me complaining, so I'm not going to say anything. Right after that, I start talking. But if you complaining, if you're going to complain about a situation that you can change, my friend, I don't want, I, I don't want to hear it. I'm no longer your personal cheerleader because I, I cannot be because at this point we enjoy our situation and this is what we want. It's different to complain and say, hey, I don't like this. What do I need to do that next as to complain? I don't want none of your advice. I don't want to know what to do next because I just want to keep complaining and keep talking about it. That That's totally different. What do you plan to do? I'm just saying. I can't handle complaining, complainers. And do I complain sometimes? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I say it. I, I complain. But guess what I do? I'm doing something about it. Yes, you must like. And some of them love the nonsense. And I don't understand. I don't understand. And maybe it's not up for me to understand. Thank God. And that's some. And I tell people that there's like, uh, I just don't understand. I don't want to. I never want to understand somebody else's nonsense and somebody else's crazy or their train of thought. I got my own crazy and my own crazy train of thought. Do you think I need some help over here? No, I, you know, my crazy is kind of, we kind of okay with each other. I don't need to understand your, your thought process too. I don't want to understand, but I do want to challenge you to make a plan <coughs> to do something about it. What are you going to do about it today? Are you, does it, is it, does it mean enough to you to want to do something about it? Like for real, for real, are you mad enough to do something about it? Are you angry? Are you frustrated enough to do something about it? Because some of us, we, we, we mad. Yep. And we frustrated, but we ain't that mad and frustrated. We, we ain't that toe up with it. We, we can deal with it. And so the thing becomes, what do you plan to do with this thing called life? What do you plan to do? What do you plan to do with where you want to go? Do you want to continue where you are? Do you want to continue the life that you want to lead? If that's what you want to do, by all means, my friend, please do that. However, if you want something different, I encourage you to think something different. Because if, if, if your plan is to... Because you know what happens when you don't... When, when you think about this, do you have a plan? What is your plan with your life? If you don't have one, look at the people around you. And ask yourself, did they have a plan for their life? Or was it to continue to complain about their life? Like, what was it? <clears throat> what is your plan for life? Do you plan to continue to, to just survive? Do you plan to continue to just do enough to not rob Peter, Paul, Matthew, Luke, John, and James? Uh, do you plan to just do the bare minimum? So, and I, I just don't understand. So again, I'm going to say this. You cannot pray and not change. Your faith is always in what you continue to do. We have faith that we're always going to be broke. We have faith that uh, we're going to stay in that same job. We have faith that our kids are going to get on our nerves. We have faith that we're going to stay in this crazy relationship. We have faith in all these things. But every day we're praying to God for a miracle. And we're asking Jesus for a miracle, right? But our faith is for sure in the things in our lack. So there's no need for you to pray. If you're going to pray, you're not going to change because your faith is in this. Your faith is in, I ain't ever going to get out of here. I ain't ever going to. Then there's no need for you to pray because you're asking God to change your situation. But you don't have faith in him that he can change it because your faith is here. And you can say, well, Jojo, that's not true. I pray and I have faith that what I see is going to change. But are, do you have a plan? Are you working towards, are you just praying for a miracle, Lord Jesus? Do you expect Jesus himself to walk down upon the earth and to pick you up and move you over there? And let me tell you what your miracle is. Your miracle that you prayed for yesterday, it woke up this morning. That means you are your miracle. Jesus said, oh, you want a miracle? Ta-da, you're awake. Now, 
Make a plan. Do what you have to do to change. Have faith that things are going to change. Because if you don't have faith that things are going to change, the miracle of me waking you up every morning is, is a waste of my time. Because you are the miracle. You are a living, breathing thing that was created out of eggs, out of cells, and out of all the people in the world, out of the trillions of people in the eggs, he developed you. And so you mean to tell me that you are convinced that God didn't give you a purpose? He doesn't have anything other than lack for your life? I mean, exactly. Faith is action. Prayer is action. Miracles are action. There was nothing in the Bible or the Christian religion or any religion that you can think of that does not require action. So you cannot pray when you have faith that your crazy is going to continue. You can't pray and have faith that you're always going to be broke. You can't pray and have faith that you're always going to have the same stupid relationships, crazy kids, crazy job, living in the same place, never going anywhere, never doing anything. You can't pray. That is a waste of your energy, your time, your space, your mental capacity. At that point, I suggest that you not pray because what is the point of you praying for a change when you have faith that things will never change? And if faith is an action word that you refuse to do because you're accepting what is currently is as truth what is the purpose of your prayer what is your plan for this thing called life what is your plan do you plan to continue where you are do you plan to stay exactly how things are what is your plan and if it is th this is a judgment free zone if that is your plan I I'm happy for you I, I truly am because we are not all made the same and we're not all meant to do the same things, which is, which makes us all different. But I want you to, this is what I want you to understand. I want you to be content and acceptance and have no want or lack for where you are. So if where you are now, you still feel like something's missing I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I, I feel like I need to keep going towards something. You can't put your finger on it. Maybe, my friend, there's something that you need to aspire to. Maybe you have settled for your life instead of challenged yourself to your life. Maybe there's more purpose in you than what you're willing to admit. And there's more things for you to do so that you can change the world, as Miss Margaret says. And I am my sister's keeper. I'm just saying. So think about that on this Thinking Monday, this Motivational Monday, Move Your Behind Monday, Make It Happen Monday, whatever Monday, Mental Monday, whatever Monday you want it to be, what's your plan? What do you plan on doing? Are we, if we're going to continue to just survive, then we, I want you to stop complaining. I don't want you to complain and say you want different and you not do different. I want you to say, I accept where I am freely because I don't want to do the work of the change that I want to see. Now, when you do that, your life will become better because now you've accepted your situation and your, your inwardly soul and body is not currently forcing you to do something you don't want to do. So... I enjoyed this Fearless Morning Show. It was all for me this morning. My name is Yamitra Jojo Wada, the only Live Past Crazy Special, so what better place to be than here with me? As Margaret says, sometimes these shows are often just my little pep talk to myself. And I had that revelation. If you missed this one, go back and watch the first few minutes. I, have a I had a revelation all by myself about this thing. Faith and prayer. Please don't waste your breath. Do one or the other. I'm just saying it's all action. You've got, you've got to do the work. There, there's no way. There's absolutely no way around doing the work. Faith is work. Prayer is work. Miracles is work. Anything that you want to do in life is work. Now, if you choose to complain, please accept your, your life as it is. Don't complain and ask Jesus to change something and you're not willing to do the work of it and if you're looking for a miracle you woke up this morning that is your miracle that is the manifestation of your thoughts and your dreams what is your plan what do you plan to do
And think about that as, as you think about that for yourself. Think about what your children are watching, what your friends are watching. And are you setting them up for the same? Are we passing down our self-hurt, our self um retaliation are we passing down things to our family and friends because of things we don't like ourselves so now we've inherited like i'm three generations afraid of flying because one great grand one grandmother was afraid of flying who passed it down to my mama who passed it down to me am i passing that down to my children why when we don't know the basis of that thing this is all about self-work think about that guys i hope this has helped somebody today Faith and prayer. If you're going you to have faith that you always going to be sick, if you have faith that you always going to be broke, if you have faith that you always going to live and do this thing, what's the need to pray for different when your faith is in things staying the same? So if you're going to pray for different, you got to be willing to do the work of different. If you're praying for a miracle, you woke up this morning, that is your miracle. You've got to do the work. What is your plan? What do you plan to do with this thing called life? As Margaret kindly reminds us, we are, we're none of us are getting out of this thing alive. What do you plan to do with it? Right. Oh, girl. I'm, I'm going to stop the show because I don't even want to talk about that. Stop being mean to yourself and to your children. And because we don't love ourselves, we pass that self-hate down to our girls. Who keep passing it down generation and generation and wonder why we don't have any good men. There's great men. It's just that we don't love ourselves enough to acknowledge that there are some good men. So you self-sabotage. Hey, I'm just, it's a lot. <laughs> what are you passing down generation to generation? What are you passing down? What habits, what behaviors, what thought processes are we passing down to our children that they're going to take as fact because we're mama? And then because mom and them did it, I'm now going to continue to pass it down to my other friends and family. I'm just saying. Exactly. Whole nother show. But today's fearless thought for the day is what's your plan? <coughs> what do you plan on doing with this thing called life? I just want to know. And y'all know how I feel about complaining. If you're going to complain and not do anything about it, Stop complaining because you like it. When I decided I didn't like my situation, I did something about it. And if you don't know the next right thing to do, you're in a perfect place to know what's the right next thing. Because you know what you don't like. So the next step is to do the opposite of what you don't like. If you don't like that job, find another one. Well, I can't. Why not? Because this is where I live. Move. Well, I can't. Why not? Because I ain't got no money. Pick up a side job. Save the money. Babysit. You like to cook. Sell some plates. You can sew. Sell some clothes. Hem some pants. You can type. Type a few papers. There is no excuse why your situation can't change. Yes, you said it, and I agree. A to the men. Sometimes we don't like the answer. There's not a problem that exists that doesn't already have the answer. Sometimes we don't like the answer. We don't want to do the work of the answer. Because if I can continue to complain that I can't find a job because I live in a small town and there's no jobs here and all these people are hateful, then I'm stuck on that story. I'm not stuck on, let me make a phone call to Margaret, the job coach. Maybe she can tell me something that I possibly didn't know that can help me do something different. And it may require me, you know, traveling 30 minutes instead of walking right out my front door to drive a minute and a half to my job to sit and complain for the next 30 years. This may require me to drive a minute to get somewhere so I can do better for me, myself, and my family. I'm just saying. Think about that today, guys. On this Motivational Monday, Make It Happen Monday. I just want to share my thoughts with you. I hope this has helped somebody. I know it has helped me. And if it has helped you, please let me know. Send me a message. It doesn't have to be an awkward conversation. It doesn't have to be formal. Hey, it just has to... I'm going to take the conversation from there. Hey, Judge, I like what you said. I'm going to take the conversation from there. If you need help with a job or your career, doing something different, Margaret uh, is your job coach. She posted her link. She'll post it again. Reach out to Miss Margaret so she can help you get your life together. 
and Google is your wonderful friend. If you don't know the answer, Google it. Figure it out. Take away the excuse of why you don't know, and you'll be surprised what you can achieve. I'm just saying. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing Monday. My name is Yamitra Jojo White, the only Live Past Crazy Special, so what better place to be than here with me? I greatly appreciate you taking your time, your Monday to spend with me. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope I have helped somebody today. If your friends and family do not have Facebook, we do have a YouTube channel, and you can binge watch all the Phyllis Morning Shows over there. We have over 350 shows, so you can watch them over there. If you simply type in Fearless Morning Show on YouTube, we will pop up. And they are by topic and by title. So you can pick either one that you like. And the sun is blinding me. Thank you, Jesus. A to the man, he is shining on me today. And I accept all of my blessings and the work that comes along with your blessings. Your blessings do not come and you think that you're not going to do some work for them. Your blessings and accept the work. So I thank you for that. Yes, we are. We are moving forward because me and Miss Margaret, we in this thing and we are hashtag changing the world. And I am my sister's keeper. I will have my T-shirt hopefully today or tomorrow so you can see I am my sister's keeper T-shirt. If you want one, I'll post the link again so that you can order one in any of the Be Fearless jewelry um, so that you can have your reminder with you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing Monday and I will see you here bright and early tomorrow morning at 715. Have a good one.